A captain with Jacksonville Fire Rescue is in the hospital tonight, seriously hurt after he lost control of a fire engine on Interstate 10 and flipped it on its side. On your side, David Jones was at the scene as that engine was being towed away and has more tonight from Duval County. We're watching this process of actually getting the fire truck flipped over and upright. This is the area where the driver lost control on I-10 eastbound, driving through a guardrail and flipping the fire truck on its side near Lenox Avenue. Concern for our for our family, the JFRD family and the family of the, the one that's injured and his family, that's first and foremost. 53 year old firefighter Daniel Arms was driving the truck to meet other crew members from engine 32. They had just responded to a call off Four Acre Road and two of them had gone with the patient to St. Vincent's. Arms, a JFRD captain, was driving alone when witnesses saw the truck hydroplane on the wet interstate. All of our officers ride in the right front seat. In this case, because he was coming to pick his crew members up, he had moved to the left front seat to drive the apparatus to the hospital. After the fire truck flipped, bystanders pulled arms from the truck. He was unconscious when rescue arrived, taken to UF Health in stable condition. But Powers says he has a long road of recovery. Meanwhile, crews worked all morning as the truck laid on the shoulder of the interstate. We do it all the time. Yeah. Day, night, it doesn't matter. Your, your, your equipment is your lifeline. So you have to take care of your equipment. I mean, it, it gets the job done. The truck inoperable at this point, towed away to be inspected by JFRD later. Obviously, we're in a, a business where um, things can happen quickly, a dangerous business, and um, you know that's one of the things that uh, weighs on your mind all the time. And at this hour, we are still working to learn just how much money this could cost JFRD to replace this truck. For now, we're in Jacksonville. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.